what's up guys and welcome back to another weekend freight today is the 24th and um well we're in the cab of the truck now so i'm out of the echoing um living room and i gotta load i gotta load i'm moving i'm going to work that gum it uh I'm kicking and screaming though but what i'm gonna do in this video if you're new to the video is i'm gonna go around the nation to the different freight hubs and i'm gonna find the freight if you can find the high freight rate areas you can if you can find the high freight volume areas um you're going to find the high freight rate areas and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go around the country to the different freight hubs and see what the load counts are and just like i've always said you know you, you find the high freight areas that's where you need to put your truck that's where you need to go and where i like to start here is the national load count this is for drive in it is currently 12 20 well 23 and like alabama for example this is showing loads going in versus loads needed to come out so right now you're showing 1200 trucks heading into alabama whereas only 770 are needed to come out so there's a, a bigger influx of trucks than loads coming out whereas say california for example it's got 2800 going in and 4400 needed to come out so i'll go ahead and make a gesture here california again this week is going to be hot for freight um delaware is looking good florida not good everybody knows florida it's a good example right here everybody knows florida goes good in and well most of us did head out but georgia uh i got a decent rate or uh, it could be better but i got a decent late rate coming out going to uh indianapolis so i'm gonna get up in the freight high freight area up there but in Illinois is looking good and Indiana right where I'm going looking good Kansas you get the gist of it but where the real nuts and bolts of this video comes is going to each hub PA is looking pretty solid it looks like another good weekend freight guys and let's dive on in if you like what I'm about to show you in the description there's a link you can click it uh, as I always say free is free and don't haul cheap with this tool no matter what lane you're in whether you're familiar with it or not you will have the trucker's edge when negotiating rates with the brokers and we're going to start today in atlanta and we're just going to do 120 mile radius for the 24th and that's today van just general let's see this yeah here we go just for standard van and let's see what atlanta has in 120 mile radius 1500 loads which is super solid for atlanta and I'm just going to show you this on Atlanta, and uh, then we're going to try to rush through the rest of the, the video. But you can click this right here, the offer rate, and it's going to sort it out, sort out the brokers that has offers on their loads. Like, for example, Portland uh, Load, who's that, TriStar Transit, they've got a 42.50 on the offering block, uh, and they do that so more people call offers or loads with offers tend to get more calls than loads that don't have offers but they see that right, you see that right there and you think oh that's good money that's good money but with this trucker's ed pro version that i'm showing you this demo here is it has a 15-day average that 15-day average to go on this lane has basically been 5100 bucks or almost two dollars a mile and they're trying to push it for 42 so you call that broker and say, I run that load, but I'm going to need about 55 for it. And then they're going to counter and you counter. But whatever you do, do not go under this right here. And as the freight rates continue to rise the next few weeks, this this rises with it as well. So do not go under this. If you go under that, you're you're messing it up for the, uh, the, whole, the whole bunch of us. Anyway, like, let's see. This might be interesting. Going up to Sumner, Washington. And I'm on slow net, so it's going to be a little slow. 3,800 bucks. Average has been 45. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Not a not a good not a good deal. Now let's shoot you around. Let's go over to Dallas. Check out the Dallas and Fort Worth, and then shoot down to Phoenix or uh, Houston. Sorry, let me move my phone. Might get a little better service here. <clears throat> Come on, slow net make this video good now Dallas is coming in update you sucker slow slow I 
tell you what, let me. No, the phone's showing better service than the iPad, so we're going to keep it right there. Uh, goodness, Dallas is coming in with 1,700 loads. Dallas, if you're getting the Texas market, looks really good. Let's shoot down to Houston and see what they have. Houston's coming in the market. 1729 can you beat that they can't beat it but it's still super solid for the houston market with 1269 so dallas um and houston that's still looking good let's check out amarillo amarillo by morning 467 total with 140 exact the 140 exact means it's within 120 mile radius and uh yeah, it's not too solid, but you know, there's freight. If you get a good lo load going in, there's freight in there to get you rolling back out. It's not a high freight rate hub. That's why I don't, I don't ever check it, but it has freight. And let's check out before I move any further. No, let's go. We're going to Cali. Los Angeles. And the other CD I got to check is Memphis, but I get to Memphis in a minute. See what that Memphis market's doing. LA, come on. Let me put my phone back up here. <laughs> I picked up my phone and messed up my signal. Come on. Come on, you slow sucker. Come on, boy. You can do it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, come on now. Well. Don't look like it wants to do it. Come on, update, update. I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this over to the iPad. We'll try that. See if the iPad's working any better. Come on, you sucker. Los Angeles, 120. All right, there we go. 2,897 loads in the market. 2,897. That's looking good. Let's see who all's got some money on the board. Let's see if we got some more $8,000 loads like we did last week. Maybe. <laughs> and we do. We got an $8,800 load. Priority one, and they got the check. So they will factor that with try business capital there's also a link down in the description if you want to sign up for uh for factoring uh you, or you can just top in uh make sense quick and check out the uh factoring that i use and give my guy mac a call the 800 number i think it's 865 800 anyway it, it takes you to my guy mac over at triumph give him a call tell him i sent you and he'll send you a cookie now, 85, 85, 85. Ooh, this is this, this week's looking better. This, hey, hey, life is good. You said <laughs> you you locked those loads last week. Uh, looks like this week's going to be doing as well, doing real well. I might just take my butt to Cali. Anyway, let's move on. Let's get out of the 8,000 plus loads. Let's go up to Tracy, North Car or <laughs> Northern California. Let's bump this up to. Enough to get the East Bay and Sacramento area and all in between. It's got 1,241 up there. And just for my own curiosity and to share with you guys, let's check out this. What you got? Nah, pay no mind to the 48,000. It might be two picks, 13. Yeah, somebody just got an extra zero in there. But let's see here, 72, 72. See, the guys, this right here, th this is one of those things that makes sense. It makes sense if you're in the Northern Cal market, instead of grabbing one of these high dollar loads right here, grab your load, get that little eight, nine, twelve hundred dollars to go that 400 miles, take your butt to Los Angeles, go to SoCal, and get you one of those eight thousand dollar loads. So, like, let's take this one for example, um, New York. You've seen that Connecticut load going for 88. You're in the, say you're at Rippin' Loves right now. You just got done eating a uh, Sonic Burger. 
you can grab this one right here and go to the northeast or you can grab a eight hundred thousand dollar load whatever they're paying go down to los angeles and get that eighty eight hundred dollar load or an eight thousand dollar load and make two thousand dollars more than this going to the same daggum place it just makes sense but it makes sense i'm just saying all right let's bump this back down move on let's go up to the portland market Portland's coming in with hey, update. Come on now, you can do it. 505 loads, which is pretty decent. 505 for the Portland market. Let's check out Seattle. What the Seattle market's got. Seattle's coming in with 403 exact loads in the Seattle market nice nice so that shows you you get a good rate going up there's enough freight to get you load coming out let's go down to kansas city where are you at there you are there's a good boy you're a good boy now you'll be a real good boy if you speed up 700 loads nice that's real good real good for some kansas city market and I'm going to take a guess here. St. Louis is going to be $9.89. They're usually, well, maybe $11.44. $9.89 or $11.44. Don't. Ah, oh, I'm wrong. But we'll take it at $1,047. And St. Louis market is stout. There's freight. There's good freight in, the, in that market. Let's shoot down to Savannah and go up the eastern seaboard and finish out in the Midwest. And uh, yeah, see where we need to go. 547 loads in the Savannah market. So if you get a load, good load going down to Florida, deadhead up to Savannah, there's plenty of freight up there to keep you rolling. You're gonna make more money by deadheading up to Savannah and grabbing one of those loads. And here's another make sense tip for you. If you drop off in Lakeland, you can grab a load and go to, from Lakeland, say to Pittsburgh, PA. You're roughly going to get a little over a dollar a mile on that. I can't remember the mileage or the pay on it, so you can do it yourself. But I promise you, you can deadhead half the mileage and come up to Atlanta and pick up the same load going to Pittsburgh, and you're going to make more money with less loaded miles going to the same place. And you get to make half the trip deadheaded uh, with less wear and tear on your truck. So I'm just saying, it's a make sense tip. Now, let's see, Savannah, where we're going? Let's go up to Columbia, Sakakalaki. See what you got. Columbia coming in with 1,282 loads, so South Carolina looking good. Let's check out Charlotte, North Carolina. Speaking of North Carolina, I need to holler at my boy, Mr. Show You Right. Hey, my South Carolina buddy, Mr. Robert. I'm going to holler at you, man. Sorry, I ain't took your call lately. Oh, did I do wrong here? Charlotte, North Carolina, man. Did I lose my freight? Did I lose my... What'd I do? What'd I do? Search loads. I don't know what I did. Show me the freight. All right. There's no freight in Charlotte, guys. <laughs> Let's go up to New York and see what New York's got and make sure maybe they're not zeroed out like Charlotte was. That must be a, a buggy system or something. I don't know. Maybe it's my internet. But maybe New York will pull up. Maybe. 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 Come on now. Come on. Oh, New York. Is that 1440 for New York? No, for if you, I'm not gonna click back, but if you caught that, that's 1440, and that was showing uh, North Carolina, maybe. Anyway, uh, New York, 1876 on the load. So New York area's got some good freight, and we're gonna shoot over to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, pa. Oh yeah, I forgot my H. Pittsburgh. What you got, Pittsburgh? A thousand seventy-seven loads in the Pittsburgh market. Pretty solid pits. 
pretty solid. Let's shoot over to Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Come on now. We're about done with this. Two good, yes, nice, two thousand loads in the Columbus market. So if you're in the Ohio market, there's plenty of freight to be had. Let's check out the market I'm going to Indianapolis. And t -t 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 -t. come on, Indy, what you got? 2300 now you know i've got to do this because that's where i'm going so we're gonna just see what kind of money's on the on the board what what's some offers going up i hadn't booked a load yet I, something just told me to wait and uh book one one uh, deliver let's see 39 to go to stockton i don't want to go to stockton but i want to go to cali uh 39 is well over 15 day average 15 day average has been around at 3200 so that's good, that's good, that's good. Orlando, Florida. I would run this right here. I would run a Scotland transport for $3,500 down to Orlando. In Orlando, deadhead back up to Atlanta and grab a load and come back to the Midwest and then do it again. 35 is good money for 965 miles. So that's a little over, what, 350 a mile? Good deal. Let's run it. Run it. Miami, no. So here's another makes sense tip for you. If you can get a load going to Orlando versus Miami, if they're paying the same, even if this right here is, this right here would have to be six to seven hundred dollars dollars more to make it worth it. Because right here you got, let's say a thousand miles to go there, and another two hundred miles, let's say two forty, um, from Orlando to Miami. So by the time you run that extra 225 240 250 miles you got that same 240 250 miles coming back so you're looking at another 500 miles that you don't need to go all the way down to miami to get when you can you see what i'm saying there if this low pays 35 this low pays 35 to get this road load right here now this is just saying if you're going to deadhead out if you're going to deadhead out this is an additional 450 to 500 miles that's nonsense when you can drop off right here get the same pay and you ain't got to run that extra four or five hundred miles so that just don't make sense uh oh they're loading my trailer let's hurry it up india's indiana market let's check out the memphis memphis tennessee what you got dj paul Ju juicy j 1300 loads in that oh nice let's see what they got trip miles off rate pretty solid for memphis i memphis has never done me wrong every time i end up in memphis there's plenty of freight i always do good in memphis five thousand dollars to go up to oregon and they're a little above the 15 day i can i can rock with it i mean i wouldn't run it but get you, you get what i'm saying let's check out detroit oh i misspelled that they got auto correct detroit coming in 1069 solid good freight good freight st paul minneapolis oh good deal good deal 800 loads nice now let's finish it out with chicago see what chicago's coming in with Twenty nine hundred loads in the chicago market so if you're in chicago you know there's plenty of freight and let's see what kind of offer they got on the board ah 4400 to go to arizona so i wouldn't do that but i might take this load right here no i wouldn't no i wouldn't you can go down to get your load go down to indianapolis and get you a 3500 dollars load and go to the same damn place and make another uh, another thousand dollars on top of that 35 so you could possibly from chicago to indy to there you could possibly make 45 to 5,000 versus this little 3800 dollars one way anyways guys it, no matter where you're at this week i think you're going to do good um i'd stick to the freight hubs that i showed in this area in this video um there's plenty of freight outside those freight hubs but around these freight hubs you're always going to find freight you're always going to keep a truck rolling and that's what makes sense for us to make money is keep that thing running you got to be you got to become a logistics planning specialist um that way you can drop and hook or not drop and hook but unload load unload load 
uh, less idle time that truck's sitting means more money in your pocket. Anyways, guys, if it don't make sense, it don't make dollars, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you, bye.